how do you escalate your relationship to the next level if you're just so playing first it of cool? All, first of all, you if that's the person that you want, you're going to go all in no matter how you think he feel because like people try to go off of how you how the person is treating them. Instead of doing that, you'll just give your all because that's what you want to do. Genuinely, you want oh. to you want to be with that person. Um, if I'm that. dating somebody, I have intentions to be more than just dating. So I'm going to go all in. I love that so much. So, what do you guys yeah. think about that? Do you I'm have you ever way. gone all in before? I'm honestly, the like same way. Like before, I, like bef- well, like you just made it serious by going all in. Like, I don't think so. I feel like if I guess I don't really. I don't know. I feel like if you're pursuing me and I'm pursuing you, like if you're interested in me and I'm interested in you, then I'm not really going to hold back too much. I mean, mm. I guess there's levels, obviously. Like, yeah, I'm not going to act like a psychopath, but mm. if I want to see you, then I'll make that known. Like, right. I feel I like a lot a of women now are like, I don't have a title, so I'm not going to do these things. And then once you get to level 77, now it unlocks this new tier of things that I'll do. And then when I get to level 82, then it unlocks some more things that I'll do. I feel like and that's, I don't think that's fair, though, because guys will take advantage of you if you just go all in from the jump. True. And I'm sure that's many true. of us, me included, have been through that. So it's like, yeah. as much as I would love to just be like, I'm going to do everything right now. Like, yeah, that's not hurt. healthy. Right. You know, that's not like, that's not something I mean, you should you'll, do. You'll dose it, not like exactly. put mm. everything on them. Like, oh, I just met you. Oh, I want to marry you. Like, mm. yeah, obviously, yeah, you're yeah, going right. to you're gonna pinch you're gonna yourself. Take your, exactly. And yeah. you're not going to do too much, but you're going to let the person know that that's what you want at the end of the day. Right. And yeah. sometimes, like, it's intentional. I'll be like, oh, maybe I want to do this, but I'll be like, maybe I'll wait a little bit. Like, yeah. if I have that little second. So you hold guessing. back, you think? You'd be like, I want to do this, but I won't do it because Sometimes of our status? Sometimes just because I'm not sure. Like, mm. I don't know how it's going to be received. Mm. I don't know if we're there yet. Like, I don't want to do something nice for someone and their intentions with me are not to take me serious. And now they're like mm. thinking right. they could get over them on me type shit. Like, that's not. Is that normal? So so do you normally operate like that? Like you, you hold mean? things back. Like you might, you like someone a lot. So you want to do certain things, but you don't do them because of where you are i wouldn't say it's i mean i i guess it depends on the person like how you said matching energy like the way that i see that is like if you're doing this for me i'm going to do this for you and then they'll probably step it up a little bit so then i'm going to step it oh. up a little bit like so now we're both showing each other that we're that's serious. a healthy way to, to exactly right. but like so that, that's but like that rarely happens though i think it's there's always somebody that has to take that big first step because somebody is, you're going to stay in the same spot <laughs> until somebody is bold enough to go I, I need to move the needle a little bit and but go I, like, you know I, what I mean? I feel like, like that's part of like getting into a relationship though. Like if you're not going to be willing to be vulnerable, then you're not ready for exactly. a relationship. Yeah. You should be willing to take that big first step, mm-hmm. you know, because and that's then, a part of it, what you're ex- dating for basically. Exactly. You're if you're going to be scared. <laughs> exactly. And if also scared, it's, like, it's also a pride thing too. We're so big, like in today's culture, pride is like pride and ego is at the top of the list so Facts. let somebody have you out here looking stupid and it's like yo I, yeah. I gave gave my all to this person and they was just shitting on it like it's pride and ego like you got to be willing to take that step because if not you're just gonna you know and i feel out. like people don't understand like relationships some are just kind of hit or miss sometimes like mm-hmm. you're not really looking stupid unless you're not a fucking celebrity broadcasting your right. shit to the world you know like you might feel stupid but you kind of got to deal with that within yourself. You got to tell yourself. You like, chose to do that. Yeah. Like and you shouldn't feel bad are, about it. Exactly. Yeah. You did what you wanted to do. You were serious about the person. You showed them that. If they didn't take you serious, that's on them. I like, kind of think that's a red flag because I hear that like, oh, I'd be stupid if I did this for you at, like right now. Right. And like, I don't like that because. Stupid by I, whose standards? And, and I've dealt with that with women a couple times and i don't think i've ever done that where i've been like oh i'm not gonna do this because of where we are in our relationship like i kind of take pride in being vulnerable so like i'll put myself out there to get fucked over basically you know and and if it doesn't work out it's like i made that decision Mm -hmm. you know so i take accountability for it but it does suck if if you do get screwed over you know it definitely does but but I think it actually takes a strong person to put themselves out there. Mm-hmm. Um, I am kind of getting to the point where it's like, right, I might need to <laughs> hold back a little bit, chill a little bit. Yeah. But, but that's what you put it on. You but just you got your hair going crazy. No, so. but, 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 <laughs> you, eh, I don't, that ain't going to do that. But it, what, what, 
I don't know. What what kind of happens for me is that I'd rather get um, taken advantage of or like a bad thing happening for me being vulnerable than to miss the right person uh, because I'm holding back. I think that would be a w- that's something that you would regret. I don't think you would really exactly regret like on your deathbed like you you did too much for somebody mm-hmm. and then they you know didn't reciprocate where like you know like you kind of got screwed over however you want to characterize that 